Hey guys, it's me, the Bone Twenty Four. Right now, I'm going to do a review of the AOS TD D uh, clone. Um, I don't want to discuss about clone again, but it's all about personal preference. Whether you like your clone or if you feel sorry for the for the makers of it. Anyways, it's not about that. The video is not about that. The video is about this clone, um, AOS TD. What can I say? This is a fastic version. Um, I heard the eight cigar got some brush finish, a little bit brush, but not as shiny as the fastic. Um, I'm using a, a legit Chiyu, okay, and this is the AOS clone. Um, for someone who don't know this, AIOS aka AOS stands for all in one system. It means you can drip and you can have it in a tank. That's what I had over here. Uh, the build is really tricky. Um, I tried a straight stainless steel mesh. Um, it's okay, but probably just not working out for me so I sleeve it up with a uh, air cool and <laughs> it's really an ugly build um, anyways I'm gonna show it to you later uh, overall I really like it um, it's a hybrid as you can see that this tube and this is the whole whole Addy as you can see and it goes like AOS um, the laser edge engrave is really outstanding. I mean, at first I thought I was really engraved to it, but you know, it's really thick. Um, I've seen the I've held on the original EOS. It's really stand out. I mean, it's one one scale. It fit on a legit Chiyu. You got a brass uh, brass pin. So and it's really uh, heavy. Um, anyways, uh, most of you wondering if uh, I mean I've seen a lot of uh, people asking about if uh, the Fastec AOS uh, does have a dripper. I'm going to show it to you guys, I'm going to remove this top one, see the top, there, it's removable, on Fastec website it doesn't show but it is removable to set it up as a dripper. Um, my first impression was like wow the build quality is really good, um, the material is really outstanding just I mean as you can see it from here this is the real Chiyu and that's the material of the AOS so it you know it's really good build and I'm gonna show you guys some uh, uh, vapor production of this one I'm using a vapor rule fusion frenzy it's a hundred percent VG you can see it over there I mean you know for 20 bucks you can't go wrong um, I've seen this selling like about 220 to 250. Um, to be honest with you guys, uh, if I, if I've seen one of these in town, I'll buy the original one. So here we go again with the clone thing. I mean, I know we support Mojo. 
but the thing is, uh, I just can't find find my town. Or even though I'm gonna go mod trader, there's a lot of flippers over there. I wanted more more than the retail price of the AOS TD. So it's all about personal preference. So who cares if you got a clone or not? I mean, you know, if you support the manufacturer, if you can find it, then yeah, buy it. Why not? But other than that, this is uh, a good way to start it off and uh, to try it, you know. I mean, if it's available, then buy it. So anyways, <coughs> it's really hard to find st stuff like AOS TD. I mean, you have to go to Korea Vape and uh, order it. If you're lucky, you get it. I mean, comes with the ring, also the base, just like the original uh, AOS. Um, this is the tank right here. You see the tank. So I, I can remove this and use this as a dripper. And let's try it. It's gonna be a mess. If you can see it, that's my setup right there. It's a sleeve echo wool. And right now I'm on a dripper mode. It'll work out. Drip it. See, this is set up right there. ASD. Actually, it's not even twenty bucks. I think I bought it for like eighteen ninety-five. It's a good steal. Batteries dying or I use a uh, thirty gauge uh, five six wraps, so probably I'm like around one ohm or probably one point two. That's why it's kind of a little weak for a dripper. I mean. but it does look. I kind of like it in a dripper mode because it's like, you know, really short. It's not bad. Um, yeah, this is the AOS TD. So either you want to drip or you want to put a tank on. Really good vape. It's a uh, stainless steel mesh, um, then uh, equal wool, uh, equal wool sleeve. Let's see if it's, it's right there. Alright, let's put 
back the tank. Screw it on. Oops. Gotta make sure that the right there. So um, if you want to. If you want to top it off, just like screw this top one. I mean, you can use your thumb to twist it, but it's more better to let it screw. And there's my tank. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's gonna spill. There we go. So, anyways, yeah, um, you feel it on the top. Don't worry, there's no vacuum. It's it's all the uh, bottom. It's a bottom feeder. So if let's put it this way, it's uh, inverted Genesis style. So All right, Genesis style Addy is on the top. This one is Genesis is down there. But I really highly recommend um, if you're gonna build this one, uh, leave the uh, stainless steel uh, stainless steel mesh with a echo wool or you can use a stainless steel cable rope and sleeve it up with a echo wool. I mean it tastes just really good. Right now we're in the tank mod. Um this one right here there's an airflow to just like the same as I mean airflow control also with the ring comes with it. Brass connectors and stuff so other than that, it's just like another K fan, but the build is different. To be honest with you, um, when I when I built a stainless steel mesh, I am having a lot of dry heat. I mean, without sleeves and stuff like that. So um, when when I when I when I sleeve it up with an egg wool, I never get a dry hit. I mean, it's really weaking pretty good. Also, the well is really deep, so even though it's excessive juice, um, it's not really gonna go through the, the airflow down here. I mean, I haven't had any uh, flooding issues yet. So, other than that, it, it fits the original Chiyu just like what I have. Uh, the, the clone is really one one scale. It's really a good buy too, you know, for for eighteen dollars and ninety five cents. I guess That's what I paid fast tag. I mean, ordered mine October twenty one. Right now it's November two, and it takes about ten days. Figure out where's the arrow. There we go. I gotta take a long drag because um, this is not really high resistant, like around one ohm. So, and I'm using a 30 uh, 30 gauge Scantel wire. There you have it, AOS TD clone from Fast Tech. Ah, it doesn't come with a drip tip, sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm using a vicious ant. It's really cool drip tip, I like it. The vapor production is really good. The only problem is if if you like warm vape, like you know, this is not for you because this is a cold vape. I mean, yeah, it's all right. It's not really warm vape. You know, I mean, probably if I'm gonna build with a 28 gauge uh, canthal, I mean, you know. 
but uh, I've read some reviews or I've watched some reviews that uh, uh, lower gauge is not gonna work pretty well with the AOS. Uh, you're gonna hit a lot of dry hits. It's not weaking properly. So, but I haven't tried it yet with a with a stainless steel mesh with a uh, eco wool eco wool sleeves with a 28 gauge. Probably in the future I'll do that. Um, but final impression of this one is really a good buy for eighteen dollars and ninety five cents at fasttech.com. Um, there's a H cigar uh, version which comes with a silver plated uh, a pin. This one here, the contacts is brass, but doesn't matter. I mean, silver plated will hit a little bit slightly hard than the brass, but. Once the silver plating is out, it's going to be brass underneath. Alright guys, so uh, this, is, uh, this is my outtakes for, uh, this is my takes for the AOS TD clone. And yes, it fits the real Chiyu. If you have a Chiyu clone, it'll fit too. So, other than that, if you can see the quality, really match it up with a real chew. I'm gonna take another vape and we're gonna wrap this up. I can take as long as drag over here without hitting a dry heat. Really recommend it. If you're gonna build this, sleeve up your stainless steel mesh or a stainless steel cable with an air cool. It, it really weak so crazy. Crazy. It's crazy, just like what? About six, seven seconds, eight second long drag? Still tastes good. Oh, I love this right now. Um, okay, just for comparison, uh, this is my original uh, top cap for my uh, Chiyu. So, uh, if you can compare a K Fan Light and an AOS TD clone. AOS TD with a uh, with assembled already is almost the same as the K Fun Light height. Other than that it's okay, you know, it's all about height. <laughs> but uh K Fun Light it's easier to build than the AOS T D. So uh, I I prefer K Fun Light in building but AOS T D is kinda a little bit tricky sometimes. Because you're gonna use stainless steel mesh. Anyways, this is the Bond 24. I hope you guys like uh, my takes on the ASTD clone. This is the Bond 24. I'm signing out. Till next time, vape on, guys.